Hey guys, welcome back to another Aldi grocery haul. Uh, my name's Jess if you're new here. Okay, I just sat down to edit this video. Oh my gosh, I had so much chocolate in my teeth and I don't even know what to do now because I mean, it's just there, it's in the intro. So I'm sorry guys, you're gonna have to watch me for a second with chocolate in my teeth. I know it's disgusting. Whatever, just carry on, don't worry, I fix it, I fix it. It only lasts a second. I would love for you to subscribe if you love grocery haul videos and also vlogs, cleaning videos, and other mom tips. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like grocery hauls, because I know I do, you guys know that. Do I have any chocolate in my teeth? I just ate chocolate, so hopefully I don't have chocolate in my teeth. <laughs> anyway, I spent just over $100 today. I spent, I think it was like 104 And guys, I got some good deals. So this is like an amazing amount of food for $100. So let's get right into it. Okay, time out. I forgot to tell you my meal plan for the week. So we're gonna have flatbread pizza, meatloaf and potatoes, sweet potato hash, pizza bombs, and ranch chicken pinwheels. So I will have all the recipes that I have linked below. And yeah, now let's get into the grocery haul. Okay, so this is the deal of the century right here. I'm so excited because I haven't bought ground beef in so long because it's so stinking expensive. So they have this 90% lean for, it's normally 390, ooh, it's normally 390 a pound, half priced. So it was like $1.99 a pound, right? Does that make sense? So this thing was like $4.50? Yeah. So all of these were like around $4, between $4 and $4.50. So I got like 7-ish pounds of 90% lean ground beef for like, what? For like $12, 12 or $13. If you guys shop at Aldi, or even if you don't, you guys need to check out, always check out their meat section and look for these red stickers. Because I wasn't even looking for ground beef today, but I just look all over all of the meats and see if anything has this half price sticker because it's usually an amazing, amazing deal, obviously. Okay, so garlic non bread for the flatbread pizzas. I feel like I'm a broken record with that because I make it so much, but it's good, guys. Um, oh, and this time we're making chicken bacon ranch ones. Last time we did barbecue chicken. Okay, so then here's some Italian, bleh, bleh, Italian style cheese for the pizzas, Mexican style, just for like eggs and quesadillas and stuff. Some bread, some bagels, and those are both for my husband, and um, some multigrain chips because I had um, some salsa that needs to get eaten up. So if you guys hear my children, they're down here as always, so just ignore it. Okay, I got some string cheese and pepperonis. These are for the pizza bombs. And then while I'm at it, um, the crescent rolls are for the pizza bombs and for the ranch chicken pinwheel things. I don't think that's the real name, but for some reason, I was just craving crescent rolls. They just sounded like so amazing, so I'm doing two different recipes with them, and I love just looking on Pinterest crescent roll recipes because there's so many different um, like dinner recipes or dessert recipes. So there's so many options with those and I just love those. Okay, then I got ranch. This is for the ranch pinwheels and also for the chicken bacon ranch pizza. And while we're at it, here's the bacon for that. This is like $3.29, I wanna say. So I think it's a good deal. Um, then I got this coffee. We really like this coffee. This is probably the best one that we've tried from Aldi. So the house blend. And then this hazelnut alternative um, for my husband, he requested this and a loaf of bread because he likes to keep that at work with him. And then um, some strawberry preserves, some marinara sauce. These are for the pizza bombs. Again, I'll have the recipe for that linked below, but you just dip them in this. And I was looking for pizza sauce, but I didn't see it. So honestly, I don't know the difference. Can tell, someone tell me what is the difference between like marinara sauce and pizza sauce? Maybe pizza sauce is thicker now that I think about it. But either way, it'll be fine for dipping. And then I got two dozen eggs. Those are 58 cents a pound. A pound, not a pound. A dozen. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and hard boil a whole dozen before I even put them in the fridge. And I'm going to do that either in my Instant Pot or Kosori pressure cooker. If you haven't seen my review on the Kosori, um, I'll link that. Hi, Sayla. Um, but yeah, it's basically the same thing as it is a only maybe possibly better. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do those in there and the pressure cookers are amazing for, um, for hard boiling eggs. Hi, pretty girl. Better pull your dress up there. 
Um, okay, then we got some granola bars, mostly for my hubs, but all the girls will have some too. Oops. So here's just like the chewy, like the cheap ones that are like 10 for $2 or something. And then these are like uh, six for like $2. I don't know, something somewhere around there. I think they're like $1.89. And then I got um, raisins for the girls for a convenient little snack. Some sweet potatoes for sweet potato hash. This pork sausage for the sweet potato hash. These tomatoes for chicken bacon ranch pizza. Onions for the sweet potato hash. How many times can I say sweet potato hash, right? Um, bananas, because we always get bananas. Strawberries are on sale for 99 cents a pound, so we got three of those. We love strawberries here. Do we love strawberries? Two. Do we love strawberries? Yeah. Yeah. A okay, then these were like a dollar thirty something a pound, I want to say. So that's amazing. Cherries, these are a dollar nineteen for that thing of blueberries. Then I got some Italian sweet cream, coffee creamer, these fruit and veggie snacks. My kids are just obsessed with fruit snacks and it just makes them happy at any time and also like entertains Eden while she like tries to get them out of the package. So we've been loving fruit snacks. Okay, and then I got these. Guys, if you have not tried these, is it focusing? If you guys have not tried these, these are so good. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. There we go. These are seriously so good. Dark chocolate sea salt, sea salt caramels. They're like $3, which like hardly anything is like over $3 at Aldi, but they are so good. Guilty pleasure right there. So get them if you go. And if you don't want to be skinny. Um, then I got some size 4 diapers. Their diapers are amazing and they're like $4. So if you haven't tried them, do it. Got some gallon size freezer bags. Um, I love their dishwasher packs. If you guys are like picky, I want you guys to try this and tell me know what I want you guys to try these and let me know what you think because I don't think I'm really that picky, but I feel like they work really well. And someone the other day was saying that they like these better than like the finished ones and all the fancy expensive ones. So these are like 20, 20 of them for like two-ish dollars, a little over two dollars or something. So you guys let me know what do you guys think of these because I love them. Oh my word, look at these guys. What are you doing in there? You're too big. That was so cute, did you hear her laughing? Oh, look at her. We have it sitting by the door because we need to bring it to somebody at church. Oh. <laughs> Eden, do you like that? Are you gonna take a nap? Oh, how cute. Okay, the last thing is, oh wait, not the last thing, but the last non-food item, and then I forgot a couple food things. Um, this Lacura Night Cream, anti-wrinkle cream. You guys, this is so good. Okay, I feel like my whole video is gonna be messed up because the focus is all weird. There, now it's focusing. Um, if you guys have not tried this, I know it's so weird. This is like $3.89 for this anti-wrinkle cream. I absolutely love it. Isn't that crazy? Like, I seriously feel like it's made such a difference in my face. I want to include this in like a favorites video that I do, but you guys, I want you to try this and let me know what you think because I notice a difference. I totally notice a difference after I started using this. And I tried using like the Olay Regenerous and I hated it so much. And then I use this and I love it. It's like $3. So if you guys are looking for an anti-wrinkle cream, try this because you really can't beat it. Okay, now lastly, I got this bag of golden potatoes and then I got a big watermelon for like $3.29, I think. So here is what I got for $104. Um, I was visiting my in-laws and my father-in-law was like, you should show the receipt because I don't even believe that that's all you paid for your groceries like my eight, on my $85 haul. He was like, you did not get all that stuff for $85. But you guys, seriously, Aldi. Go to Aldi. You can get so much stuff. I went to Walmart last week and I did the grocery pickup and I got like half of the stuff for $100. So anyway, okay, the children are calling. Oh dear, what is going on over there? All right, I gotta go guys. I gotta change the stinky diaper and I gotta get these children under control. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. 
And let me know of those products that I mentioned down below if you've tried them. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!